Imagine not having to do any keyword research or have the frustration and confusion as to which keywords you should bid on in your Google ad campaign. Well, you might be interested in learning how to run what's called a dynamic search campaign where Google will decide what are the relevant terms to bid on that is relevant to your business based on the content on your page. When Google first came out with this campaign, I thought this is going to be terrible, but in actual fact, they work incredibly well and I've seen it with incredible results across so many different types of ad accounts. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can create it for your business and make sure you set it up the right way so you avoid a lot of the common pitfalls. So make sure you stay through to the end of the video because there's a couple of little things that you need to change once you've set this campaign up. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Let's go do this. So here we are in our live Google ad account and we're going to create our dynamic search campaign. So what we're first going to do is we're going to go to the campaign section here and we're going to click on this plus icon here and we're going to create a new campaign. The first thing it's going to ask us is to choose a campaign objective. Now resist the temptation of choosing leads or sales or something. My recommendation is to click create a campaign without a goal guidance because that's going to give you all the full available settings for you, which you want. So we're going to click search campaign as the campaign type. Definitely don't choose any of these other ones. And we're going to click continue and then continue again. All right, we're going to give our campaign a name and we're going to call it dynamic search. And then we click continue, start new. All right, so because this is a new account and really creating any new campaign, the Google only gives us the option of doing the automated bidding. But because this is a new account, I'm going to want to do manual CPC bidding, but I don't have the option in the campaign creation process. I'm going to leave this as is for now, knowing I'm going to change my bid strategy later at the end of this video. So make sure you stay through to the end. So I show you how to switch bid strategy. And then I'm going to just close this. Uh, don't, don't worry about this. So we're going to click next. And as you can see here, we're working our way down here through the, uh, the steps to create our new campaign. So this is what a really important section. Definitely don't skip over this part because you're going to want to deselect the display network and deselect Google search partners. I'm actually not a fan uh, of including search partners uh, and dis the display network is an entirely different form of advertising. So I'm not saying not to do it, just don't mix it with your search campaign. So by deselecting these two, it means we are running a search network only campaign, which is what we want to do. Okay, so then we choose our location. I'm just going to select Australia for now, but obviously if you enter in another location, let's say you want the United States, you would click include and then that would include that as your your uh, location targeting. You can obviously do multiple locations. So if you want to do USA and Canada, and then you can see we're targeting both those locations. And um, so yeah, we just, we can leave that for now, that's fine. Click on this locations options because I'm going to recommend you switch to this particular setting and it is moving away from the recommended uh, setting by Google. What I don't like about this setting is it says uh, people who've shown interest in your target location. So that would be people who've shown interest in Canada or United States but aren't physically there. So we don't want that. That's why I select this one. Scrolling down here, we're going to leave our language as English and I'm not going to choose an audience segment. I'm not going to do broad match keywords. Uh, click on more settings and add rotation. Da, 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 da. That all looks fine. So then we click next. It is going to ask me, do I want to kind of help creating my ad? This is only, only going to be bad news. So I'm going to click skip. I'm going to close this. And unfortunately, it's going to force me to at least <laughs> create one ad group uh, I can't actually from here choose a dynamic uh, type of ad group, which is very frustrating. So what I'm going to just do, I'm just going to just put in fractional operations manager. I just put in a keyword, which I know I'm going to be removing anyway. And I don't even need to create an ad. So I can just click done with this. Where are we? Uh, cool. Actually, I just want to delete that. And then we click next. 
Uh, I'll just set a budget to be $10 just for good practice. I don't want Google to go crazy. And then we click next and it's saying my campaign, it's just checking for errors. And I'm going to click publish says that it can't run without uh, the ads with missing information that's fine I know what I'm going to do so I'm just going to click publish and then it is going to create my new campaign so we go to campaigns here and as you can see see here is our newly created dynamic search campaign so we need to do a few things now we first need to go into the campaign the first thing I want to do is I want to remove this ad group because I want to create a completely different type of ad group, which is a dynamic one. So click here, edit, and I want to remove this. And as you can see with this red cross here, it has now been removed. So what we want to do is we want to create a new ad group by clicking that plus. And here is where we choose, uh, select our ad group type and we switch to dynamic. Click continue. And here it scrolls down for some reason. I'm going to put in the website URL here. So copy. And that's what I want the website to be. I'm going to name the ad group, just say, um, you know, website. Scrolling down here. And this is where we need to choose the rules. Uh, for what the targeting will be. So do I want to put in an exact URL or certain rules to target web pages? But I want to do this all web pages. I want it to crawl the entire website. And so that's what I choose here. Click save and continue. And now I need to create my dynamic search ad. So as you can see here, it's going to be dynamically creating my landing page for me. So based on the content of this website, it will choose where to send the traffic and it will dynamically create a headline and the display URL. All what I need to do is put in two descriptions, each of 90 characters long, that will be shown in my ad. So I'm just going to type these real quickly. So we've just put in two descriptions here and I'm going to click done. You can obviously create more than one uh, dynamic search ad with, the, with different descriptions if you choose to, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna do that. So then we've done that and we click save and continue. And here we can see we have created our new ad group. If I click on it, it's going to show me here under the dynamic ad targets that it's targeting all web pages. So one thing I really want to do is I want to make sure it doesn't crawl certain pages on my website. For example, privacy policy, terms and conditions, and those pages like that. I definitely don't want to send traffic there. So I want to create negative dynamic ad targets. So I click on this and I want to put in my exact URL. So I'm going to type in these URLs here. And as you can see here, I've put in the privacy policy and the terms and conditions page, pages and really what any other pages I definitely don't want Google to crawl. You might also want to put in your thank you pages as well. So put them in here, one URL per line and then click add. And as you can see, they've been added here. And then we click save. And then as you can see here, we have set negative dynamic ad targets. One thing we have to do is we have to change our bid strategy as promised. So I go back at the campaign level, I go into the campaign and I want to do this at the campaign settings. So here we have chosen the search network, that's fine. And then our bidding here, we click maximize clicks and we want to change our bid strategy. And then we want to select a bid strategy directly, even though this says not recommended. That's fine, Google, I'll be fine. Okay, and then we click here and we want to choose manual CPC bidding. Okay, and then we've got that there. And, and then we just click save. So now we have chosen manual CPC bidding. Let's go back up a step here. And obviously this is now active because it's green. 
and it's going to probably take about 24 hours for our ads to be approved. We can change our budget here by clicking on this and there we have it. We have created our dynamic search campaign. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to create your dynamic search campaign. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it and if you've tried it and if you found it successful, I'd love to hear from you. Definitely check out our website, teachtraffic.com for more training courses and my personal help. I help lots of businesses like yourself and thanks so much for watching.